We're now just five days away from a looming RTA bus strike, which could leave thousands in the region without transportation. Some people board the bus to get to United Rehabilitation Services, but all of that could soon change. To news reporter Jake Ryle is asking questions to find out how URS could be impacted. Uh, United Rehabilitation Services and RTA have worked together for many, many years. You could call it a long and fruitful marriage, a relationship that could soon end. The adults with disabilities that we serve rely on Project Mobility to get to our center to uh, participate in our activities. Vivian O'Connell, Development Director for United Rehabilitation Services, says 50 to 60 clients board these buses every day. It's part of Project Mobility. The adults in this room have developmental disabilities, but coming to URS gives them hope. Jobs like packaging, paid work for some while receiving care and social skills. This is a typical day, but with a looming RTA bus strike, routine may soon fade away. They rely on that routine, and that's what they know, and so it's, it's really going to have a, a negative impact if they're not able to access the services that we're providing. It also impacts URS. If the adults in our program are not able to access our services, uh, we are in turn not paid for those services on a, any given day. The strike could add up to five to seven thousand dollars lost in revenue for URS every day, but no amount of money could add up to the devastating impact a strike would have on those just looking for their routine again. We're focused on providing meaningful programs for the individuals we serve, and so transportation is, you know, not something that we are in the business of doing. Jake Ryle, two news, working for you.